If you're hoping to explore new sights and sounds and enjoy long walks and car rides, well, do I have the girl for you? It is Wednesday, so of course it is Free Friends Day, and we're here to introduce you to Violet along with Kristen Demple from the York County SPCA. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Danielle. Tell me a little bit about Miss Violet here. She yes. is a sweetheart. Yes, yeah, she is a total sweetheart. So Violet has been with us off and on for about a year. She came to us as a stray, and um, she is just a sweet girl looking for her forever home. So. She's been with you for a while, so obviously we have a little bit of idea of what her personality is like. Yes. We've had so much time with her. Tell yes. us a little bit about her. Um, so she's, you know, kind of a low energy girl. When she is active, she likes to play, but most of the time she she likes a schedule. She likes her downtime. Um, she's actually in a foster home right now, which we are so grateful for her fosters who brought her here this morning. Um, and she has just made such a great addition to their home. She um, and she's very attached to her people. So I think whoever is her permanent family is in for just a wonderful loyal dog yeah and she's great on the leash she's been yes. doing tricks for us she she's been well trained too with some of those foster families i yes. wonder if she'll show off for us will you sit oh good, good job, job. <laughs> yeah what a cutie now yes. because she's a long-termer we have some benefits if you want to adopt her yes absolutely so violet is um she's a long-termer which means she's been with us for more than three months and any animal in our care that's been with us for more than three months their adoption fee is waived so if you want to adopt violet that fee is totally covered and because violet's been in a foster home you just get so much more information about her personality and how she will be in a home versus what we see in the shelter which is not always the dog's true personality personality. So I think you'll have a great asset in knowing that she could be the right fit for you. Now, do you think she could be in a home with kids or maybe other pets or does she need to be the only child? She definitely needs to be the only furry um, child. She does not want to share a home with any other dogs or any other pets. She wants to be your one and only. Um, we don't know about kids really. I think that she could probably do well with kids. Um, just knowing that she's a bigger dog, um, you know, maybe older kids might be better, but she definitely loves her people. So I think that she do well in a home with some other, you know, human human siblings. Yeah, and of course, she's just one of many at the shelter. Uh, you guys, obviously, we're just featured in Give Local York. We yes. are always helping to, you know, help you guys clear the shelters. Yes. Any events going on? Yes, on May 26th, we have a dog adoption event coming up. So that's a Sunday where you can come into the shelter, um, meet with any dogs, you know, more than one, um, and you can take any dog that speaks to your heart and you think could join your family home that day. So we encourage you to apply. You know, if there's a particular dog you're looking for, you can apply on their profile or you can sign um, apply for a dog through our general or just our general dog application so May 26th um, apply before that date but show up at the shelter and see if there's a dog um, there at the shelter waiting for you and of course you have public browsing hours all the time if someone yes. wants to meet Violet they need to apply ahead of time correct yes so Violet because she lives in a foster home you can apply for her directly on our website um, and you know we would just need to schedule a meet with her with the foster family so but that's all also a great opportunity because usually the foster family can talk to you a little bit and you just get to know so much more about about her so yeah, yeah. amazing well thank yeah. you so much for coming in and bringing in miss violet of course uh, it was a fabulous time meeting her yes. and of course we have a link up for her adoption application it's up on our website fox43.com thank you again thank you so much danielle always a pleasure